Okay, continuing to work in the yellow slice, we'll be looking at making reasonable inferences based on proportion statistics. In a study of pain relievers, 50 people were given product A and 40 experienced relief. In the same study, 100 people were given product B and 67 experienced relief. Fill in the blanks of the statement below to make the statement the most reasonable possible. Okay, well this uh, problem gives us some trouble as a typical thing. And so my strategy here is to spend a little bit of time in getting uh, some organization imposed on the problem. So every time I come across one of these, the first thing I'm going to do is to uh, make a chart. And in this, we're going to organize uh, the information that they give us and uh, sort of help us get things set up. So let's go back over here and see once again what we're dealing with. Obviously, in this case, we've got two different pain relievers. We've got product A and we have product B. So let's go over here and fill those uh, in in our chart. And so here we're going to have our product A and product B. Now, for some of the people who took product A, um, some of them got relief. And so we'll code this column relief. And over here then, we had some who didn't. So and some of those poor sufferers uh, got no relief. And then, of course, there is a total that we need to look at. So what this will do is to kind of give us a place to organize our information a little bit. Let's go back now and read this very carefully as to what we have here. Okay, in a study of pain relievers, 50 people were given product A and 40 of them experienced relief. So as we begin to organize that, let's notice here that there were 50 people and 40 of the 50 experienced relief. Now, keep in mind here that uh, 10 of them, that would be 50 minus 40, uh, did not get relief. And so we will have to look at that. Now, read carefully because sometimes they will uh, give us this information in different ways. So we have to be sensitive to that, read the problem carefully, and then code things in. Okay, let's move on. Let's once again look at the product B, folks. Now, there were 100 people given product B, and 67 of them experienced relief. So we had 100 people, uh, 67 of them getting relief, and therefore 67 from 100 is 33. 33 did not. Okay, so we're kind of organized at this point. Now let's look at how they want the problem. Well, notice right away, uh, they're asking us for percentages here. And so we're going to have to take the information that we have and convert that into a percent. Now, let's keep in mind that percent means out of 100. So in this case, it's very, very easy because you see these numbers are in fact out of a total of 100. 67 out of 100 would be 67%. And 33 out of 100 would be 33%, making the total, of course, 100%. That's the easy one. Now, it isn't so easy when we look at the one up here, because notice that we have a total of 50. So we're going to have to convert these into percents. And there's a couple of fairly easy ways to do that. The easiest way here would be to take the ones who found relief. That would be 40. Express that as a fraction over the 50 who found relief. So 40 found relief, there were 50 total. 40 divided by 50 is going to give you 0.8. You 
can do that on your Alex calculator if necessary. And of course, remember that in order to convert a decimal to a percent, we move the decimal two places to the right. And so what we're going to do here is move that decimal over there and get the answer 80 percent. So the 40 who found relief out of the 50 constitute 80 percent of the total. The 50, of course, is 100% of that. And now, to get the ones who didn't find relief, you could do that two ways. Now, one way, of course, would be simply to take the 50 uh, total, put the 10 who didn't get relief over that fraction, 50, uh, then 10 over 50 would give us 10 divided by 50, or 0.2, which then turns out to be 20%. Another way to simply do that is to realize that your two percentages must add up to 100%, so 80 plus 20 gives 100, so you could calculate it that way. Now that those percentages are calculated, we can begin to go back now and actually begin to answer the question. So let's go back and read the question and see what we have. It says product blank performed better, performed better in the study. Okay, so what do we mean by that? Well, performed better must have, mean, um, have meant then that we have more relief. So we can see here that 80% of the people uh, in product A got relief. That's better than 67 for product B. So we could say then that product A, and the pull down gives us that choice, performed better in the study because remember 80% got relief with this product, whereas only, and remember that 67% of product B found relief. Read these carefully because they can find all kinds of tricky ways to ask this question. Let's check it and we see that Alex is happy.